So there's a huge challenge out there of patients with heart failure who are not being treated pro appropriately and they are suffering unnecessarily and dying younger than they would otherwise do. This event is about uh, launching a toolkit for heart failure which is aimed at uh, persuading the various uh, countries in the EU that they should uh, revisit their ideas about heart failure. We know what a heart attack is because someone falls over. Heart failure is a much slower progress and if they can be caught earlier, lives can be saved. It's a lifetime that you must be able to deal with this situation and that's part of the challenge for those who have heart failure as a constant companion. But the point is, they can still have a full life. Once they understand what is going on, they can address these challenges and they can actually embrace them and move forward to a productive and healthier life. One of the interesting things that came up was the fact that we all know what to do and yet we're not doing it. We are wasting resources in intensive care, in accident and emergency. These patients tend to be revolving door patients within general practice. We're wasting a lot of money getting it wrong. Let's invest a little bit of money in getting it right. The role of the politics is fundamental, important, because the politics program, the distinctions between the lines of guidance for the years successive. In Europe, in Commission, in Parliament, se tracciano le nuove strategie sulle le nuove politiche sanitarie, su quello che sono le strategie sulla ricerca, le nuove patologie. Aujourd'hui, on appelle à agir, on remet aux décideurs une boîte à outils avec une série d'initiatives, d'exemples, de données factuelles concernant l'insuffisance cardiaque pour que l'insuffisance cardiaque devienne une priorité de santé publique au niveau européen et que des mesures qui sont recommandées par les sociétés savantes comme la Société européenne de cardiologie soit pris en compte et que le financement de ces approches pluridisciplinaires du travail des infirmières spécialisées dans l'insuffisance cardiaque devienne une priorité pour la prise en charge de cette pathologie chronique. Uh, I think it's very good to have brought this uh, heart failure uh, campaign uh, to, uh, to, the, to, the, to the wider public and uh, I think for, for nurses um, there should be a greater in the, um, uh, awareness and, and to incorporate this into, into training uh, activities. I think it, the, the event today has been very, very productive because it's had a real uh, broad overview from different stakeholders within Europe. So from MEPs through to cardiologists through to patients. Um, and it's very important that the patient voice comes across. I try to convey that there's a real lack of services, support, um, awareness, absolutely not invested condition. If you look at heart failure versus cancer, the heart failure movement is very, very small. There's only now have some pharmaceutical products potentially come onto the market that can make a difference. Au niveau européen, d'après moi, il faut développer, financer, de façon à ce que l'éducation thérapeutique soit quelque chose de naturel après un accident cardiaque ou après le fait qu'on ait diagnostiqué une insuffisance cardiaque. Parce que l'éducation thérapeutique permet de comprendre la maladie, ce qui est déterminant, permet de comprendre pourquoi on nous demande de suivre une certaine hygiène de vie et de permettre de comprendre les effets des médicaments. Parce que les médicaments ont des effets secondaires et beaucoup de patients ont tendance à arrêter tout simplement certains médicaments parce qu'ils ont des effets secondaires désagréables. Donc, si on comprend les bénéfices que l'on a à les prendre qui sont supérieurs aux effets secondaires, eh bien les patients vont continuer de les prendre et ça va éviter des rechutes. We need our countries to collect data about their heart failure patients, which informs us as to what is the right thing to do in the future. Uh, and we're needing uh, to break through some barriers as far as the clinicians are concerned about the management of care. Perhaps changing a few, the ways in which they do a few things. We need some funding, which is prime, priming funding really, because there is money to be saved if you get things right with heart failure.